Hello YouTube, it is I, Young Juicy, well, Juicy Juicy on YouTube. I'm actually going to be live right now if you're watching this video as soon as it comes out on Twitch under Young Juicy. So if you want to look me up, the link is down in the description. I woke up today though with the fierce feeling of wanting to make a YouTube video, a tier list of all the TFT champions that are in set 11 right now. And this is for patch 14.7b, so the new update is coming out in a few days, and then after that, this tier list will be null and void. So this is really my last chance to make this tier list before everything changes and I make another tier list, because I love tier lists and I know you love tier lists too. So let's just jump right into it and get started right away. I'll probably just do it in order. Um, this is a tier list based on my opinion just to let you know but now that we've gotten that out of the way let's just jump right into it and start with Aatrox. Aatrox I think is pretty bad Garbo in fact so I'm gonna try to make this tier list brisk as well I won't really explain too much of my well I'll explain some of my reasoning and why I'm putting them in the tier that I'm putting them into but I won't really go into too much detail so if it makes you feel uncomfy that I put a champ that you like somewhere meh, too bad so yeah, Aatrox is pretty bad. I think I'd give him like a C tier. I've never carried Aatrox. I've never seen anyone carry Aatrox. It doesn't exist. Ari is pretty good. Ari's a one cost unit. She does a lot of damage. She does like a little bit of splash. She used to be pretty broken when Fate was off the hinge, but I think I'd put her in B tier now. Aloon is also pretty good. Um she hits the whole back row so she can if you have her itemized in three star she'll kind of decimate the whole back row i don't think umbral itself is that good right now but i'm gonna put her in a tier just because as a unit she's really strong uh amumu amumu i will also put it in a tier because if you put an amumu in a porcelain comp you three star him and you have good items for him he'll never die so i'm actually gonna put him on s tier Annie, I think, is super good. She is like a sleeper unit. Um, I wouldn't put her in S tier because she requires a lot of stuff to pop off. I'd say at least three really good items and her being two-starred. If she's one-starred, she just dies way too quickly. But I'd put her in A tier. Aphelios. Aphelios was also uh, really busted like Ari, but now I feel like he's just high B tier. I wouldn't really go him very often unless I had just a, a made game, a custom made game for me where I was given all my units. Ash, Ash with the new updates will be probably S tier because they're making four cost champs a lot stronger. But right now they're pretty lackluster. In fact, I'd put Annie in top of B tier. Ash, Ash would be like. And the porcelain comp, like I said, she's S tier, but without that, by herself, I did hit a four star yesterday and it was pretty good, but I, without, without porcelain, I'll just put her a low A tier. We'll change it if we, if we want to. Azir is only good if he's two starred and you have really good items for him and some, some traits active. So I'm going to put him on the top of B tier. He also, his skill is a little odd. It only hits a couple of units sometimes and I really hate that. Bard, after all the nerfs, uh, you know, Bard, after all the nerfs, he's still pretty good if you three-star him in a mythic comp with a bunch of three-star units, but I think for now, I'm just gonna put him, like, right above Aphelios. I don't really like Bard. Ooh, Caitlyn. Caitlyn, for a one cost, she's an A-tier unit. She is probably... I mean, she goes in Ghostly. She's really good. Her skill is crazy. If you three-star her, she's really good. Honestly, might be even better than Ash, just as a single standalone unit. Cho'Gath definitely gets a B tier. He is pretty tanky. He's a pretty tanky boy. I'll put him right there in B tier. Darius, I think, is really good. Okay, I've seen Darius as an early game unit carry really, really far with one or two traits active and some items. So I'm going to put him in the A tier. Diana, I love Diana, especially after the buffs. She's super tanky. She just keeps healing massively. Oh, I even want to put her in S tier, honestly. Sometimes she'll just heal infinitely. She just won't stop healing at all. 
Here, let, let's mix it up a little bit. Now that I'm thinking about Diana, I'm thinking about another S tier unit right here. This Volley Bear, bro, you get three star Volley Bear and you were good to go. You will smash everybody, especially if his items are up to snuff. You know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that right there. You know, Amumu without Porcelain isn't good. And I guess I am judging these on standalone units. So he gets demoted back to A tier. Galio definitely gets an S tier. Very good tank. Very good skill. Put three gargoyles on him and watch him go. Garen gets a C tier. He sucks. Yeah, he just sucks. Uh, Nar gets a high B tier. Uh, because he can be played as a reroll comp and he's pretty good in fact i'd actually say he's low a tier over over that because if you three star nar he will carry you by himself uh way i'm just gonna give s tier because he's a pretty good unit and he can multiply your other units so that's pretty good i like that i'm giving him s tier the is a good tank she's definitely a better tank than uh uh, I'm just gonna put it right there. B tier. There's gonna be a lot of champs in B tier, I feel like. Aurelia gets S tier. Aurelia just gets S tier. She is cracked, man. If you watch her go with three items and two star in the back line, she will literally melt, and this will change next patch, by the way, but she will melt anyone with her ability in the back line. It's just so good. I'm gonna put her above Diana. And I'm gonna put Galio above Diana as well. Jaina is pretty good. She, she has Dragon Lord, which is an excellent trait. Goes well with Diana, and now even has her own Dragon Lord comp, which has been getting a lot of attention lately. Uh, Jax is definitely better than these two dudes. He's just better tank than these two dudes, but he's pretty bad. He's pretty bad. Kaisa is going to get A tier, and she's going to get A tier all the way up here. All the way up here, actually. Uh, and you know what? Since this is my tier list, I like Jaina way more than Ash, way more than Caitlyn. So that's looking a lot better. Like I said, I'm trying to go through this pretty briskly because I have a stream to get to. And I really wanted to make this video, so I'm going to make it anyway. Uh, Kane? Kane is... Two-star Kane's really good. One-star Kane sucks above a loon i'd put him above a loon uh i'd put nar up here a little bit higher because he is just easier to play and uh th them two are about the same i'd have a better time playing kane than i would ash just randomly splashing them in there uh yep this this right here is looking a lot better kazak sucks he really sucks. You need to three-star him, and you need perfect items on him for him to even do anything. But I think he's a really bad unit. He even got buffed, and he still sucks. Uh, Kindred is just like Gnar. So Kindred... I mean, if you three-star Kindred, she's really good. If you don't three-star Kindred, she really sucks. So I'm going to put her right here with some of these dryads right here. Um, Kabuko. Kabuko also sucks. He is terrible. Uh, he's not, unless you get the lucky, uh, lucky pause augment, then he scales really hard. That actually does make him a lot better. So he has like a higher potential, I feel like. Even higher than Cho'Gath, I would say. Or Ari. He's like an actual comp. He's like an actual comp, so I'll put him right there in B tier. Kogma, after the nerfs, uh, Kogma can still perform. But he is nowhere near as good as he used to be, that's for sure. So he is getting a uh, high C tier. Nah, he's probably better than Ari. He's probably better than Ari. I dropped Ari down here, but she'd probably be on top of the C list. And Shogath can stay right there. That's fine. <sighs> Lee Sin, man. I love Lee Sin. I love Dragon Lord trait, but he sucks. He really sucks. Even at two star, he's not that good. Three star Lee Sin is really the only thing that's going to get you far with him. So I'm going to put him, he honestly belong. he's so bad, man. I love him so much, but he's so bad. So he's going to just go even under Kabuko because I'd rather have a three-star Kabuko with Lucky Paws than I ever would a two-star Lee Sin. Lilia, also bad. <laughs> Four costs are just so bad in this patch, um, which Mordog realizes, um, like I said, the update is coming out in a few days. The pre -pat like the patch notes are already out and everything, so you can look them up if you need to. But right now, 
I'd put her there just because she has AoE damage, more AoE damage than Ari, but she's not very good. Uh, Lissandra, I'm going to put an S tier. She's just really strong. She's probably like this. Um, maybe this, actually. Huey is very situational. Lissandra, though, is a monster. She's a freaking monster, man. She just makes you items. She's amazing. Lux is also S tier right now because, like I said... If you are playing Porcelain, you're probably going to do really well. She, at 3-star with items, just destroys and stuns everybody on your board. It's pretty amazing. Uh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, where do you go? You probably go 8-tier? 8-tier? I mean, oh dear is definitely better than Darius. I don't know if it's even better than Loon. I, I've seen him just get stuck on units and stuff, and it's just kind of pathetic. So he's getting a low A tier. But hey, at least he's A tier. Uh, Malphite also sucks to me. Like, he's probably pretty tanky. He's more tanky than Aatrox, and Aatrox belongs down here, man. Yeah, he's really bad in my opinion. So, yeah, that looks fine. I have nothing to say about my Malphite. Um... I'm going to put her, <laughs> I've never actually used, I love Morgana, but I've never actually used Morgana, and every time I use her, I regret it. So, on that, by itself, I might try her next game, actually, during the stream, but she's getting a D tier. Yeah, I feel, you know what, that feels bad. Uh, Kha'Zix can go in D tier as well, and so can you. There you go, now she's not by herself. Um, okay, Nautilus. Nautilus is a good tank. Nautilus, I think, is a better tank uh, by himself than Amumu because of the stun. You just need to make sure you have items on him so he's able to survive long enough to cast. Okay, um, she's also A tier. I mean, she's using so many comps. Nico is using so many comps, has her own comp that she could play because of her augment. So she actually goes up here. Ash can go a little bit lower. Ash can go, like, right here. This is looking fine. Um... Orn. Man, there's a lot of A tier champs actually, because I do think Orn is A tier. With Behemoth, he's really tanky, and he can build items for the rest of your board, which is kind of like Quay, where it's, it's just really good. It's just really good to have. Uh, he's definitely better than Darius. Uh, he's better than Oh dear, to an extent, for utility at least. Uh, so I'm going to do that right there. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm gonna do that right there. Kiana sucks. I want her to be good, but she's really bad. She can get, she can get a D tier. She can get a D tier anytime. Rakan is really good. Um, well, like he's all right. He has Altruist and Dragon Lord, which makes me want to put him in S tier. But I think I'm just gonna put him right here in A tier. Very high A tier. It's a pretty good unit. Um, so I'm gonna put him right there in A tier. Rek'Sai. Rek'Sai sucks as well. In my eyes, whatever. Just another Dryad slap. Riven can get B tier, actually. She, you can three-star Riven, and if you have good items on her, she can carry like pretty much all mid-game. She just falls off really late game. That's why she's not allowed any higher than B tier. But a three-star Riven could definitely kill uh, Lee Sin, so he gets shafted even lower. A tier... Senna. Senna is better than pretty much every other sniper in my eyes right now. So she definitely belongs in A tier. She belongs all the way up here, even past Caitlyn, even past Nar. Nar can go down a few notches. Um, when I look at these units, I definitely see Nars less than some of these that I would pick up right above them. Set is S tier. He's a unit that can scale pretty much infinitely with his bench mechanic. He has a board-wide attack. I think he belongs up here, which is good. Look, a lot of the five costs are in S tier, so I suppose that's pretty good. Uh, Shen is definitely an A tier tank. He used to be S tier before he got nerfed. He's better than a Mumu in my eyes because he does more damage. I would put him right there. Uh, Nico can come down a few. Yep. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Sivir. Sivir's actually not bad. Sivir belongs in, in like, a, a B tier, I feel like. And you know what? Lee Sin can go very high C tier because he really is that bad. But I don't think Cho'Gath should be above him because I don't really care for Cho'Gath too much, if I'm being honest. 
you probably still rather have a three-star Kog'Maw, though, than a Lee Sin. So there you go. Uh, Soraka. Soraka's pretty good in a comp right now with Dragon Lord, so she can go very high B tier, uh, right there. She seems like in a good spot. I'd, pr yeah, I'd put her even higher than Annie because of her traits. Uh, Silas. Silas is really, really good. Um, you put a, uh, some items on him, Bruiser, he can live for a very long time, and he'll actually do some decent damage while he's alive Syndra I will put her in B tier you know I feel like Syndra and Azir to me right now are very interchangeable they're very interchangeable it's kind of like hit or miss depending on your items and your comp that you're going Tom Kench Tom Kench is a good tank he belongs even higher than a Moo Moo because if you don't have the porcelain trait then it, I think Tom Kench is just a better tank. I see uh, Yone here, which Yone is getting S tier because he's broken right now. He's really good. I think it's not even just him. It's, it's Titan's Resolve is broken. And I'm going to put him above Lux because he can beat Lux by dashing back to her. Teemo. Teemo, Teemo, Teemo. B tier. Definitely better than Kogma. Definitely better than Sivir. Better carry than Riven if you have him itemized properly. But I don't know if he gets to go anywhere beyond that. I don't think he does. Thresh. Thresh is a decent tank. He, too, belongs in a B tier, I think. And he might be a little bit better than Annie between Faded and... Uh, between Faded and Behemoth, he probably tanks a little harder than Annie. Actually, not true. I think Annie's better. I just do. Trist is pretty good. She belongs in low A tier now with all the buffs that she's gotten. She's a dual carry in the Bully Bear comp, and it goes hard. It's very good. It's very strong. You know what? I'm going to even... She belongs above Ash, man. Ash, Ash is just so... Eh. You know what? And I'll put her even above Udyr, because I feel like she does more than Udyr when it comes to damage. Wukong gets S tier. Heavenly is really broken right now. Heavenly Yone is really broken right now. He has a stun. He's a good unit. Maybe not better than Malphite, but definitely... A little bit better than Diana, especially if you two-star him. Um, you know what? I would even... Since these are like lower tier, lower cap comps, I would even place them higher than... Like, these are the faces right now of the meta. So I'm going to put them right there. And then I'm going to put Lissandra a little bit higher. Uh, <laughs> I've used Zaya maybe one time. Uh, she's probably better than Kogma. Better than her. Better than Riven? Then you start asking. It's like semantics. It's really hard to tell if she is. I'd say she probably... Probably... I'd like a 3-star Riven better than like a 1-star Zaya. Maybe even better than a 2-star Zaya. Uh, Yasuo gets an A tier because he's a really, really good tank just by himself. And he's a 1-cost unit. So he's not bad. I'm going to give him an A tier. Um, Yorick is tanky, but... Is he good? No. Not really. A little tankier than these guys. Zoe. Zoe has to be three-starred to be a good carry, but she's probably better than Kogma. She is probably better than Kogma. Probably better than Sivir. No higher than this. I play her sometimes, but she's not great. And Zyra also gets a B-tier Probably a little bit better than Kogma and Sivir at the moment, but she's not going to carry your game. She's not going to save your game. Looking back at this tier list one more time in a very close examinative glance, I don't know if I'd change anything. This looks, you know, like a pretty accurate tier list to me of all the champs and how I feel like they are strong in the meta at the moment. I know this was very briskly done, but I think that this isn't bad. Like, honestly, this is a pretty good quickie of a tier list. If you enjoyed this tier list, make sure you check me out on Twitch down in the description below. I'm probably live right now. And also make sure you like and subscribe and maybe just tell me down in the comments what your favorite champ of this tier is. Or, you know what I mean, what your favorite champ of this set is. Could be anybody. Could be anybody. Just subscribe.